Okay, is it working? Yeah. So I have uh, just I went over there to get my other battery, and then I saw I have an actually a extra backup battery. Uh, if you know what you call it, battery pack, you know, I had it in there. It's all charged up. So now I've got another battery in there, and that battery. The only thing that's kind of odd is the battery thing is blinking now, but it's showing to be full, but it's blinking. Maybe it just knows that's there, but. Uh, before, when I had it plugged into a charger, the, the camera would start and stop, you know. It would, it would uh, I didn't realize a while ago, I guess I was had my head cut off the whole time. Mostly I was showing the computer, not worried about showing me, but yeah. Since I'm doing all my work right up here at the top, I can at least show myself somewhat. I meant to do, get, I have this electrical cleaner that I meant to grab a while ago and try it. You never know, that could be all that it needs. It's unplugged. You never know about those sort of things, so until you try it. I left my box open for my camera. I have a camera box that it came in over here with all my stuff in it. Cleaner. All that's. I plan on moving every bit of that stuff out to get this, this in there. But of course, as it always goes, these little things never. These little quick projects turn into major ordeals. So if it's not gonna, if it's gonna take a lot of work, I'm just gonna put a different computer over there to. I, if I'm gonna put one in there, I want one that works. I don't, uh, you know, I don't want to have to drag it back out real soon when I want to work on it. Uh, put one in there that I can leave for a while. That was my logic. But, uh, yeah, I believe that something's gone out. Uh, so let's unplug it again. Well, let, let, before I take it apart and take the switch out, let's see if, uh, you know, there's something on the inside that I'm have. I didn't inspect it real good. Yeah. So let's unplug it. And I think I'll unplug the VGA and the USB so that I don't break anything on that. And turn it like this so I could see it. And I'll aim the camera down so you can at least tell where I'm at. I like to do my videos with, you know, my all my different cameras. With all the different views, and uh, I can even do close ups. But I did one yesterday, and well, I, I, ever since I got my security, I got two five megapixel security cameras that run all the time. So when I run two cameras on the network and my audio over the, on the, on the network, all through Wi Fi plus two security cameras, guess what happens? Things start, stop working pretty quickly. It's, routers can't handle it, is what it seems. What it, I believe is going on pretty sure because I used to well I used to have trouble uh, when I'd run th two cameras in a for can I be two cameras in audio uh, for several hours if I did it for two well sometimes I'd have trouble after a couple hours usually I could go five or six five four three to five hours but uh, what happened yesterday is uh, my audio quit when I didn't know it, and then later on, my uh, the last 30 minutes of my video, I didn't realize it. My my camera, my main camera that was going over Wi-Fi was I had switched to my wired SM58 mic. Main camera that was coming over the Wi-Fi had gotten way way behind, and they do that. It's one of the things they do. And so it, I was barely moving in it the whole time, and the audio was just going along fine because it was on a wired mic. That's, uh, there's no swollen caps on this board. I mean, I glanced, I kind of looked at it, but I didn't get down and inspect it before. And there isn't any smell of anything burned up. 
<laughs> just because it looks to be in good shape. I don't. See, I can see through the back of the see the big capacitors and the power supply. So that still makes me think it's a switch. Once I had one that he gave me. It wouldn't start up, wouldn't do anything, and after messing with it for quite a while, I finally realized it had a video card plugged in with the pins had bent. And so it was, uh, I don't know if it tried to start or not. Let's look at this RAM, because he always likes to take the RAM out and put it back in, and that's so easy to get that, not get it in right, you know, not get it locked in all the way. He probably, the first thing he'll do when he sees a computer, new, new computer, is uh, pull the RAM out and put it back in. And if you're trying to diagnose, you know, you get it and you know it has a problem, you shouldn't mess with anything until you, you go through it step by step. That's what I do. Because if it's, if you, say, you grab the RAM and then you shove it back in there, two gigabyte, yeah, that's what it should be. Um, and it should be beeping if the RAM was something wrong with the RAM or anything. It just doesn't do anything like it's not getting power. Anyway, I've seen him. I've had, he's done it before when he was, you know, he'd bring some couple, one or two over. And he was looking at him with me and he'd grab the RAM and pull it out. And I was, I was asking him, what did they say was wrong with it and everything? Because I wanted to see where to start testing. And so then it changed the way it acted. Because we'd already tried to turn it on once, and what had happened is he didn't get it snapped back in good. But uh, so for a little bit there, it was like, oh no, what? <laughs> you know. But uh, everything looks fine. Samsung RAM. Two gigabyte. So that, yeah, they look like matching RAM. Wires. One of the wires was under the RAM clip of that one there. Making it hard to get it back in there. Yeah, I know that one snapped in good. Yeah, I, I've really never seen one that, you know, would just be not dead in the water because of the RAM. If something odd off with the RAM, it always, it's almost, it all, they've always, always beat. At some point, maybe they take a while to get to that point, but that's what they do. And of course, you could break it if you put it in backwards and push real hard. It's okay. So yeah, I don't see any point in if the power supply is bad. Well, what I usually, what I always do, I don't know if I have another. If I think the power supply is bad, I get a known good power supply and just swap it in. And if that makes it go, then you know that's what's wrong. If it's taking it out and looking at it, I can't. You know, I don't. I can't fix them. Uh, I would kind of like to learn how to. Maybe, maybe I, I. I used to be good at soldering, but I'm not anymore. So my hands are not steady, I can't see my eyes. So that, and as much as you, you know, I mean, power supplies, I would never try a circuit board. A power supply, maybe if there was like five or six of them bad, but if there's 10, 15, 20 capacitors that are bad, and then you don't know what other components uh, I was starting to watch a video the other day about it, and I have watched several over the years. You don't see too many about computer power supplies, though. Usually it's old, old retro ones that everybody's interested in, and I like that, too. That's really cool, but... The motherboard plug is the only other thing that could maybe be in the wrong place, but I don't think so. It would probably beat this, yeah. But it does have two empty pins that I just noticed. Where would the... If it, was, if it was missing, where would it be? Yeah, this one, you can't plug it in wrong. Okay. 
Let's see if there's possibly... I see some dust I missed. That jumper that I'm talking about. Yeah. Can't read it, but... What, go, what, you know... Can't read its numbers, but... That wouldn't... That shouldn't... Well... No, I don't think that would make it just do nothing. It would probably beep or try to sh turn on and then not turn on. If the, if the jumper was in the wrong place. I'm going to look at it, though, just to see for future reference. It's not plugged in or anything. Oh, I'm looking under my magnifier. I didn't even know it. There we go. Actually, I think the magnif my magnifying glass is better in this case, all without no glasses. That's unusual, but that's the way it's turning out. And that dust. It's a CMOS jumper. Just, okay. If somebody fiddled with that, it only looks like there's, well, there could be probably t three, two positions or all the way off, which is probably, since there's one there, it's probably not all the way off. It matches the colors of the connector it's on. It's a CMOS jumper. <coughs> 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 yeah, this is <coughs> not clean. <coughs> That's why it's better to blow them out with the air. I just didn't want to get dusted myself blowing it out. It always comes back in your face. <clears throat> but now I'm breathing it. <clears throat> well, since it's not doing anything, I'm going to try that. I've got this thing on my head, and it's really starting to hurt. And I just realized I'm not looking through it. I'm looking above, uh, below it. Because I can actually see better with that. I hadn't tried that lately. That magnifying glass. Uh, with that magnifying glass in its... All by itself, without glasses, I can actually see better at looking at what I'm looking at. It always, you know, it's always different. Let's see, what's my little... There they are. I've got some nice little pliers that are... Real small and easy to grab thing, Grab these jumpers with. Needle nose pliers. <sighs> Except for this is so close to the side of the case. There we go. Can't read the pin numbers or anything, but just gonna have to remember where it goes. I'm gonna try it with it off first. And let's just drop it. Why does it have to do that? There it is. Ow. Didn't get it. Nope. At least it didn't go in the carpet and get lost. There we go. So it's on the left. From the, from the bottom side, so if I go to the right or leave it off altogether, that would be the two things I could try. Okay, now I have to turn it all the way back around to try it again, though. I think... There we go. I'm kind of worried about losing, knocking that thing off there and losing it. I'm not careful. Okay, I think I'll I'll just try it with just the power in it this time, cause it could be something bad in the USB, and the, you know, like I have seen that if you got a problem with the USB. I thought maybe I heard something, but I didn't. Now there's no point in hooking up the USB to it. This switch may have just arced and burned itself up. So I want to look at the contacts on it. Where's my light? Okay. 
can't even see which end is the one you're supposed to grab on this thing without my glasses. Um, yeah. Where is it? I'm going to try it in the other position. And that's the other thing. Taking that off may, may have reset the... Uh, I don't know. Sometimes you take them off. Sometimes you move them. It resets the CMOS. Like what if it had a... Well, if it had a a, a virus, virus, it wouldn't. Uh, it would still do something. It would try to boot. It wouldn't just sit there dead. It would try to boot, and then something would go wrong. So. Okay, so that makes no difference. Jumpers back in the original position. Any other jumpers or happy wires down here? The audio wire. Yeah, if you have something plugged in the wrong place, uh, that would cause it to not boot at all, not do anything. Audio. The best I can tell. A lot of times you you just about have to have the uh, diagram that came with it to tell you where things go. These these cables like this. Some, sometimes you can figure them out. They're not they're all on there. They're not like you know misplugged or anything. Of course, if they were put on backwards or something. It might be worth it to, uh, hold on. oh, I kept forgetting, yeah, this, one strange thing, with this new computer, it's got the, uh, it's got a lot less pin, it doesn't have the extra four pins connected, and I don't see, get my glasses on, I can't, can't see without, I can't, that's for, only for close-up stuff. Where's my glasses? I don't know what I did with them. There they are. And now I wish I had the camera down over this so I could really show. Usually that's what I do, but I thought I was only going to be messing with a switch. Yeah, the power's on. Uh, I didn't inspect all the hanging cables and stuff yet, so I just kind of made sure the main ones would look tight and all that you know the SATAs and stuff you know there's not a this power supply bundle now that's one thing that could have happened somebody put in another power supply trying to fix it and that didn't do any good and they just left it like that this is uh looks like a 20 pin and there's a 24 pin uh, and the 20 pin is usually not on this new of a machine it's usually 24 pin see I need something to, there's my pointer to, to count with. One, two, three, four, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, yeah, twenty. There's a twenty, only twenty pin connector on there. Usually one of this new has a twenty-four. It's a Lenovo board. LIG41M3 version 1.1. See a year on there? There's some really tiny stickers, but. I think I'll take the switch off now. I started to do that, and then I thought, well. Looks so complicated. There's not really much I know. No, think of I can think of that I could do to it to fix it, but haven't looked yet. So how do I know? Okay. 
if it was something very common, you know, that is very common with switches, that it's just burnt. And since it's a, I mean, the switch itself, I've never really, uh, I said I have some of these. I bought a little electronics kit, breadboard kit, and I think it has two of these in there. But I haven't messed with them yet. I've never replaced a uh, micro switch like that. Uh, never, I never really don't remember ever seeing one go bad. But, uh, I mean, what I'm talking about, how switches do, that's... Let's plug it in one more time before I... Now, I did check my power cord, and it's supposed to work. Let's try that other power cord. Oh, that's a known working power cord off the back of another computer over there first, before I take the switch off. I started to do that, and then I thought, well... Let's just test it, the cord. And it tested good. Let's do that. I have to go the right way on this wired mic. See, this is why I like to do wireless everything. Two wireless cameras and a wireless mic, you can, you can really get your business done. And usually, I used to be able to make, hardly not have too many problems with my videos. Maybe some lagging, but not super bad stuff like's been happening. Ever since I got those two security cameras. Let's see. I plug this lapel that I'm using right now into does not want to go. I thought it was coming from over here, but it's coming from over there. And it does not want to go where I need to go with it. Let's just leave that one on that machine. It's one that I do, I do turn on and use fairly often. It was pretty loose, too. God dang it! It's so easy to shove. I was trying to make sure I had it plugged in, and I thought I had my hand on the front. I had my hand on the... I had my hand on the shelf above it, the rack. Go. And the one next to it I hardly ever turn on. Where is it? If I can get that cable, it may be worth harder to get around here where I'm gonna go with it. Can't find it. Saw it when I was where's the power? There it is. Yeah, up there. But where does it come from? Which side? I think it might come from this side. Yep. Ooh, trying to fish it through there without messing up all the cables on the one that I use all the time. I could see everything moving. <clears throat> you can get to this stuff, but it ain't fun. Especially after uh, this, uh, this rack being here for years now. It's uh, there's plenty of dust back there, and I have cleaned it out once every few years. It's really a big, big job to clean that out. Let me get out of there. I sort of just hit that button, but that might excite me so much I'll fall, can't tangle up my feet. I was already tangling up my feet. I'll tangle them up and fall down. <laughs> All right, let's see. Yes, yeah, so I figured. Okay, well that one's hard to get to. I'm going to put it down there on the floor. <clears throat> this other one I th I'm sure is good because I did test it. It tested to be hot with the multimeter. Sometimes they have, they're, you know, their bars are broken inside and you don't know it. Or, and they're kind of intermittent connection or or they don't connect good to the, that particular female connector. They're not making good contact, you know. So... It's always good to try 